Okay, and now it's time for us to create our very first networked game. It's not going to be terribly complex, but it should give you enough information for you to uh, be able to create your own. And I'll try to explain what we're going to make. I haven't fully tested it, so we may uh, hit some rocks as we go along, but um, we'll come to them as we get to them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have our server. It's just going to be server main. And it's going to randomize the box that it's already created. So you'll be able to see this on the server, but this is how it's going to be visualized. It's just going to have a box um, initially at the center. And every um, third of a second, for instance, I'm going to move its location randomly around uh, around the screen. And then I'm going to send that updated uh, location to each client. There can be as many clients as they want. So have three for instance they're all connected to the server and they're going to each be given the same uh, vector vector 3f location and it's going to on their screen it's going to update it and what we're going to do is we're going to have a kind of a mouse picking game where the first client to click the uh, the cube wins, and then they'll be sent a message saying if they've won or not, and the other ones will say loss um, if they weren't the first to click it. And so the way we're going to implement it so that we can be sure there's no cheating going on is um, wherever the person clicks. We're going to create a ray from that location and direction, and we're going to send those two vector 3Fs back to the server, and the server is going to do the test to see if that hits the cube. We don't want to test if it hits the cube on the client and then send it to the server and say, Oh, I hit it, I win, because they can create some sort of program which automatically just says they win if they um, if they hit it. What we want to happen is we just get the uh, location and ray and then check that on the server um, to decide who won. Um, there's not going to be any latency issues because we're in the local area network so there's not really going to be any issues of he might click it and then the other user might click it at, the, at pretty much the exact same time. And then in that case, we just say whoever clicked it first wins, even if there might be, like, realistically, he might have a 50 millisecond latency. This guy may have a 30, second, 30 millisecond latency. So this guy would actually, um, if they clicked it at the exact same time, this guy would win purely because of the latency issues and I'm not going to go into how to resolve those that's a completely different issue and there's a lot of complications with that in itself so you can do more reading on how to deal with that um, what else? I think that's it so let's go into our JMONK engine application and start writing it okay back in the uh, JMonk engine SDK. I'm going to first create those two messages we're going to be sending. So one would be a location mess message, and the other one will be a uh, location and direction uh, message, which is sent from the client to um, say where they clicked on the screen. And first one, the location message is. The, uh, where to put the screen, where to put the cube um, 
on each of the client screens. So that's serializable. So public static position message. Message and it's going to be a vector three F position and vector three F has already implements the serializable um, class, so we don't have to worry about it. But if you create your own classes, they're only serializable if every um, instance object they create or use is also serializable or you might have to serialize it yourself but I'm not going to go into that uh, position message constructor has to have a default one and going to create another constructor for position I'm just going to set the position instance variable or class variable because it's static. Sorry. Yeah. Position. Turn position. And I'm going to have another one. Just going to copy this. I'm going to call that uh, location direction method message. That's going to take a position and a direction vector. I can try and if I alt enter, I'm going to cut this in for me. And I'll trust my reader. I forget what the shortcut is, but I can go to alt insert and I can put a getter for it. I might as well teach you how to do that. Actually. Get the action for you. It's a very easy way if you've created a load of instance or class variables. You can just do that and then um, checkbox a lot of them, and then it will automatically create the methods for you. It does set as well. Uh, I Interesting classes. Turn message for class. Position message. Let's okay. change that to location to be more consistent with the class name, but not consistent with the, the instance variable, so class variables, right? But I don't really care about that. So, what to do first? I need to broadcast to all the clients a new position message. So, I need to give them a vector object. So I think I'll update that every 0.3 seconds. So I'm going to create a like that. Count, counter object, zero. So counter plus equals time to frame. And then that's greater than 0.3. Then I'm going to broadcast a new 
I want us to be random, so we'll put a random up here. Random. Let's say random. Okay, float. The next float. Okay. And I want that to be, <laughs> to be between 0 and 5. Let's move back to three off. Okay, push it down. So what that's going to do is going to create a, a vector three F uh, location. Which is going to be between zero and five for um, the x, y, and z uh, location. Okay. And then what I should also do is set the geometry because I also need to update as well as I need to update the client. I need to update the server as well of this. This is where I'm going to be doing all the validation. So, set the location. Could create a temporary for it, but let's put it right there. And, oops, I'll leave that one how it is. Come on. I'll just check if it's a different message. Let's see if I'm instance of position message. Let's see if I don't import that. Position message equals position message in. Um, I'm not going to bother updating this to the message queue because I'm sending them so um, slowly over the network that latency shouldn't be a problem. So I'm just going to straight off update the uh, box geometry from this uh, thread. But remember, because we're in a different thread, we can't just update the scene graph straight away from here. Else we're going 